Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria, but you can call me Vicky. Today I'm going to be doing my May BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm going to be trying on all the products right here in front of you and giving you my first impressions. So if you're interested in seeing what I think, then just keep watching. So if you're not aware, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. It's $21 a month and you get five full-size products. So um, this month being their birthday month, the theme is Boxy Bash. And everyone got a sixth free full-size item this month. So the first item in my box is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. It is $38. So it looks like it is a silicone-based primer. And it kind of has a tint to it. Yeah, it feels very silicone-y. It feels kind of like uh, Benefits Professional. So I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely took away some of the shine on my forehead. I feel like my pores are a little less visible. My skin overall feels smoother. So, so far so good with that primer. I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on the rest of my face and I will come back for the next product. Okay guys, so I am back after finishing my face and I have to say, I don't know if my foundation applied easier than it usually does because I usually use a primer, but I do have to say my pores are a little bit less visible than they usually are. So there's a close up for you. So moving on to the next product, the next thing is the Pure Sculptor Palette. The Pure Sculptor Palette is $30. It says a four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contouring shades that will leave skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. So I don't know if you can tell, but these colors are very dark, the contour shades, um, which I feel like is not a bad thing because you know, BoxyCharm does cater to different skin tones, and I do like that, that they do that. I could probably use um, the lightest contour shade and just go in with a light hand and I'd probably be totally fine. And also the, the highlights right here, one is a, a sort of light shimmery champagne, and the other is kind of a bronzy gold color. So that could be also very good for deeper skin tones. So I like that they included, you know, shades for everyone in this little sculptor palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the next set of products because it kind of corresponds with um, the contour and highlight palette. So the first thing I see is that you get four brushes. So I believe the set of three is supposed to be like its own full-size product. And then this brush right here is supposed to be its own full-size product. So this right here is the Aesthetica P12 brush. And it says it's a face brush with synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control. The P12 face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look and it retails for $27. So I feel like this would be really good to uh, use for the contouring today. And then also you receive the Aesthetica three piece eye trio. It says it retails for $45 and comes with an angled eyeliner brush, a brow spoolie, and a fine tipped eyeliner brush. So I'm just gonna go in with this face brush right here and dip into the lightest shade in the palette. Okay, see it's picking up a lot of product already, so I'm just gonna tap it off a little bit and go ahead and go in. So you can kind of already see the color. Ooh. Oh, it smells like, it smells like chocolate. Oh my gosh. It does look a little bit patchy. You know what, I might go in with my trusty Mary Kay. I don't even know what this is called, but basically I use this kind of brush usually for my bronzer. So I'm just gonna try and go in with that and see if I can't make it look okay. That already looks better. So say what you will about this brush, but I don't think that I like it for applying bronzer. It just applied very patchy, but you know what? Let me try and use this. Um, I'm gonna clean it off a little bit with my color switch and um, let me see if using this for blush is just a little bit better. So I went ahead and grabbed my Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. This is my go-to blush, so I know if this applies patchy, then it's just the brush.
but honestly it didn't apply it patchy at all so I think I would use this brush instead of for bronzer I would use it for blush because it applied it pretty well so yeah okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with I think that lightest highlight shade Oh, I think you can see that is very pretty so as you can see that is beautiful I love this color and it smells it does smell like chocolate too so I definitely think that this palette is yes so good so the next thing in the box is this pretty vulgar eyeliner. It says this highly pigmented gel eyeliner provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. Its creamy and water resistant formula allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the tiniest brush from that eye trio. That is, it picks up quite a lot. This is gliding on so smooth. I forgot that I wanted to do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna stop right there. And I did wanna do, oh my god, I'm so stupid. So anyways, we're gonna go back to the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer on top of that one because it's not as precise as I would like it to be. So that is the wing that I was able to create with the thinnest brush. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll come right back. Okay, so this is the finished eyeliner look. I do think it went on pretty well. I will say it tugged just a bit at my eye, but I honestly think that that might have been my mistake. That might have been, you know, user error because I don't usually use a gel eyeliner, but I think that it is a good product. I absolutely adore the packaging. It is so cute. And I think that it went on pretty well, so I think I will be using it again, and I think it was a pretty good product to include. Okay, so the last thing that is in the BoxyCharm is this matte lip gloss from Beauty Creations. It retails for $10 and is described as specifically formulated to provide full coverage that dries to a seamless smooth and matte finish. Its lightweight application is long wearing for an effortless lip color that complements all skin tones. Oh my god, there's a bee outside my window. There's a lot! Oh my god, I'm closing my window. I'm closing my blinds. Give me a second. So I'm sorry that the light just changed, but I was not about to be looking at those bees, try and get into my window. Anyways, let's go ahead and put on the matte lip gloss. Oh wow. It looks really bright on camera. It's not really that bright. Um, in real life, it's... I mean, it's pretty bright, but it's not as bright as it's showing up on camera. It looks kind of red. It is definitely not red. It's very pink. But yeah, that has been my May Boxy Charm. Um, I think overall this month was a win. I think my favorite products are probably the Sculptor palette. I just think that the highlights in here are absolutely gorgeous. And even the contour shades, I might just play around a little bit more. And maybe even try to get some use out of the even the darkest shade. I think I could definitely get some use out of it. I also like that they included the eye trio. I think I'll get a lot of use out of the spoolie. And I think if I do go in and use this gel eyeliner again, which I think that I I might use it again. It, it's not convenient because it does take a while to do a gel winged eyeliner. Um, but if I do use it again, I'll definitely use this brush with it. And I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'll get much use out of the slanted brush. Um, maybe for like if I do eyeliner with a powder eyeshadow um, but yeah I think this was smart to include it in this set especially when you're getting a gel eyeliner already um, the lipstick I don't say I don't think I go for this shade a lot now that it's dried down it's very sticky I don't know if I like that but this is a good color I don't have anything that is this color I don't have anything this shade of pinky berry color so it was a good shade to include and honestly i'm not mad about it it is just a little bit like sticky so i might would go over it with a little bit of translucent powder um, before going out but honestly uh i think oh the brush i almost forgot about this brush i don't think i'll be using this brush again i just wasn't impressed with it i might use it again for blush or i don't know if i ever do like a crazy uh colored 
blush that I don't want to use my normal normal blush brush for so maybe if I do like a bright coral or a purple blush or something then I'll use this um, but I don't I don't think it was very good it applied the bronzer very splotchy and it just didn't look right so I think everything else was pretty good and for $21 you honestly can't beat that like pretty vulgar is a expensive brand at Sephora so and so is pure so I mean going based off of that I think this box was definitely worth it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like down below and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.